Today we're gonna play a game Developed by Toby Fox in 2015 Yes, that's right, we're playing Undertale If you don't like it, you can go to Hey everybody, welcome back to the Undertale full playthrough uh, last time we went up here into Toriel's crib and, uh, you know, she didn't want me to go down into the basement and I eventually was super nice to her and did not kill her. And, uh, she said I could leave. So today we're going to leave and, uh, see what happens after that. Uh, I do have one thing to note though. Um, so, uh, I have learned that there are different ways to play this game. One of them being a pacifist playthrough. So I kind of know that there's there's a you can play it. I mean, it was pretty obvious, right? Like I there's so many options to act and do different things. And I was sort of guided to not fighting people. Uh, so, you know, I just I stumbled upon that. But uh, it's been verified to me by a, a, someone I know that that that's a, certainly a full play style. I can either not kill anybody, I can kill some people, or I can kill everybody and uh, be, like, evil incarnate or something. So, uh, I've decided I'm just gonna stick with, uh, pacifism, and, uh, let's, let's see where that takes me. Uh, hopefully, you know, I mean, if I end up killing somebody or something, you know, shit happens, I, I don't really mind, uh, mind that happening and you know getting whatever i guess there's probably you know three different endings or something but i'm gonna be mr nice guy on this one and we'll see how it goes oh this guy again let me get my my keyboard settled clever very clever you think you're really smart don't you in this world it's kill or be killed so you were able to play by your own rules you spared the life of a single person. He he he. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Flowers got a good point. Uh, I'm uh, assuming that Flowers' dialogue here is based off the fact that I have not killed anybody and that I am uh, sort of like, here's my big challenge. Oh, until you're tired of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. I pl my plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Do this flower. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I love this dude. Oh, he left. I think he's afraid of me. Anything special? Doesn't look like it. I forgot the name of the area that I was in. Like the... Uh... Oh. That's weird. That was the intro? <laughs> My entire first episode was the intro? How long is this game? Anyway, um, yeah. Can I move this rock? No. Yeah, what was I saying? I forgot the name of the area I was in, like the, the pit. This music inter is interesting. I, I thought there was like a static in my headphones, but I think that's actually the audio itself, which may be... Should not have done that. Oh, Jesus. Don't stop, dude. It's going to get you. Oh, I'm screwed. Ooh. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> huh. dun, dun, dun. Oh, I've seen. 
<laughs> Holy shit. I've seen this guy in a meme or something. I never knew who he was. <laughs> he he he, the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. Comic Sans? Do you think that's uh, where the name came from? Like, Comic Sans? I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. You suck, Papyrus. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. You want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! Look at him stomping his foot. What does he remind me of? <clears throat> There's an old game, Clay Fighters, maybe? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's his stretchy arms. I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sands, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh. <laughs> Sands! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. <laughs> Sands, dude. Ugh! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work... Put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Hey, Papyrus got jokes too, man. Ha! <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Oh, that's it. Any rocks to move around? Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry situation, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Hmm. All right, let's go follow your boy Sands. Hey, save point. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Snowed in. Oh, snowed in. That's a good joke. Good job, Toby Fox. I like that one. Out here on Box Road, where the box is. This is a box. You can put an item inside. Whoops, I accidentally skipped that. Let's uh, read it again. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Cool. Use the box? Yeah. Oh, tough glove, huh? Let's see, we got an item, the tough glove. Tough glove, weapon, uh, attack five. 
a worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. I think I'm a five-fingered person, right? Uh, let's do... You've equipped tough glove. Now, does that mean that I now have a toy knife? I do. So we attack level three. Well... Aw, oh, snap! Snowdrake flutters forth. You know, a large part of me really does want to... kill things. Oh, man. Let's see. Heckle joke. Let's do a joke. You made a bad ice pun. Is that supposed to be funny? Wait, just don't move. All right, he didn't like that one. We're going to heckle. You tell the snowdrake that they aren't funny. Is your flesh rotten as you? Ooh. Oh! It smells like a wet pillow. Laugh? You laugh at snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Jeez, man. No Drake is assessing the crowd. That's it, I'm gonna laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing? Oh no, that wasn't a good one. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna heck actually I'm gonna check him. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Bite you in cold blood. That was a joke. That was a joke. So, okay, so should I laugh now? You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See, he laughs. Dad was wrong. All right, good. I was just a little ahead of the... Oh, for the first time I saw that, his name is actually yellow now. So now I can probably... Spare him. He won. You earned zero XP and 12 gold. Experience? Okay, cool. Oh, fishing pole. Nice, dude. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. Why would I decide not to call? You send the line back out. I would actually like to call the number. Hmm. All right. Ah, you boys. So, as I was saying about Undyne, Oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? <laughs> oh my god, is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god, Sans, I finally did it. Undyne will. I'm gonna. I'll be so popular, popular, popular. <clears throat> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. I was hoping he was going to zoom in. And go... Do -do Ice Cap struts into view. What's up, Ice Cap? Ice Cap, attack 11, not bad. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Fair. Where's your hat? Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're good, we're good. Snowing dandruff. Oh. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. 
compliment. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Duh, who doesn't know? I'm, I'm not sure if I should be complimenting or... Oh, I'm stealing it. You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. I knew it, thief. Oh, okay, I got this. I'm going to fight him. Oh, I should have read that. What a great hat, mine. Oh, I didn't hurt him. That was weird. Secretly checking if you're looking at his hat. <clears throat> oh, I had to, like, press Z twice. Okay, we got... Oh! Okay, I got it, I got it. Where's your hat? All right, um, so I think what I'm going to do is weaken him and then steal his hat. Oh, should I be pressing Z, like, faster? Okay, let's do this. Oh, no! Oh! I didn't mean to kill him! So here's the question. Do I return to my last save point because I don't want to kill somebody and keep up the pacifism? Yeah, I think I do, man. I don't actually know how to at this point. Uh, that. I don't, I don't know what to do. How do I, how do I leave the game? I'll figure it out. Okay, I'm back. I'm just, oh, let me get my mouse out of here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do the things that I didn't do before. I'm gonna reel it in. Uh, I'm gonna put that back in the water. Uh, let me see if I got this. Use the, use the box. I'm gonna get my tough glove. I'm going to equip my tough glove. It's a really nice glove. Okay, we're going to act. Just gonna check them. Ice puns, okay. So after you check him, he's, he tells a joke. And then I'm going to laugh. And then I'm going to be able to get out of the fight, I think. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Now let's get out of here. Oh, we gotta get through this real quick. With the hardest song yet. The music in this game is... Top notch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I already heard this stuff. Yes, yes, there's a rock, I know. There's a lot of dialogue here. Oh, I didn't make it this far before. Oh, here we go. All right, Ice Cat. Where's your hat? Okay, I feel like that might be... That might be enough. Yeah, there we go. No, wait. You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat and succeeded. It melts in your hands. What's the point? Ice Cap is no more. Fair. 22 gold. That's a lot of gold. Okay, I don't think I killed him there, right? He just melted into ice and got sad. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. All right. Don't worry, Papyrus, man. I like your station. Ooh, this one looks way better, though. Absolutely no moving.
How long do you think I should uh, sit here? No moving. I always, I never really know what to think about situations like this in games. You know what this reminds me of is, um, in, uh, so I just got done playing Bloodborne, and, um, you know, there's a, I, I now know, I never figured out in the game, but I now know if you walk up to the big brain and you do your, your, your move, I had to make sure I was in frame here, you know, it's like this, and then you wait, like, forever, and you do that to the big hangy brain, like you get an item and then there's stuff like that and where you do stuff like an Elden Ring and other FromSoft games and uh but you know it's just like a there's no reason for it to work you never really know like I think you only really, really figure that stuff out if you go check a guide I'm gonna I'm gonna assume we get we got nothing here so I'm just gonna go ahead and move yeah uh oh did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. What's he got here? A couple of swords. He's scratching his back. Oh, yeah. Cat. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch! You like that? You, I got that first try. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Doggo. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. I like that. This is really cool. I wonder how many times I'm supposed to do this. I don't know. I'm just kind of assuming that I'm supposed to keep not doing anything, but I don't know if mercy is is the answer. Oh, I got the pet on. What? I've been pet. Pet, pot, pot, pet. <laughs> Doggo has been pet. Oh, good. I can just, I can spare him now. All right, I'm getting a lot of gold now. I was a little worried about that earlier because it didn't seem to be coming very fast. S -s -s something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm going to need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Big guy? Is that you? Come on! Oh, dog treats. Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. Someone's been smoking dog treats. <laughs> I was hoping I could pick that up. Whoever you are, knock it off. I'm not going to knock it off. I'm trying to get something from you. If I bug you enough. Oh, yeah. When the ellipses hit, it, we're out of we're out of dialogue. All right. Sands. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red. So imagine a blue stop sign instead. It's awful advice. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Alright, so blue won't hurt me. 
white or red apparently does. North ice, south ice, west ice, east Snowden town, and ice. So, right takes me to town. Holy guacamole, look at this dude. Lesser dog appears. Pet. You barely lifted your hand and lesser dog got excited. Pant, pant. I can't believe I got hit by that. That was easy. Zero gold. I should have pet him more. Hello, I'm a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Oh, yeah. 100% I'm doing that. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. I wonder if it'll melt if I go, like, anywhere, uh, hot. Oh. Really, though, no, that's human. Do I know that person? Do you not know? Who you know? <laughs> Good joke. <clears throat> of course I know who I know. I wanted to know if you know. I know, I know. As much as I know, I know who I know. You know? Oh, ho! speak of the devil. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Sans, what did you... I read that wrong. What did I do? What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Ha ha ha. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, do you see what weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle buddy. Battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? Uh, he loves his brother. That's cool. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that? Oh, same thing. Alright. Oh, man, there's a lot going on over here. Ooh, I forgot the name of the city. Ice Town or something? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. I think this guy's gonna be nasally. Something about his hair. <clears throat> oh, a customer. I hope there's not too many characters because I'm gonna run out of voices. Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. Nice cream heals 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. I like that. Uh, was there... Yeah, let's read the snowman piece description. Snowman piece heals 45 HP. Please take this to the ends of the earth. All right. Feels like I got me a challenge, right? So you only have eight inventory slots. I think that's what I saw. And um, I now have a snowman piece that's going to take up one of my inventory slots for the rest of the game. Um, hopefully it's not just like a an achievement or something. I, I hope that it's... Uh, I hope that it's uh, like actually does something in the game. I'm 
Wanna play some ball? Oh, it's getting small. I gotta do it before it's gone. Oh no, go, go, you piece of shit. No, you're going the wrong way. It's still getting smaller. Yes! Did I go in there? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Light blue. Hmm. Ball is small. You waited still for this opportunity. Then dethroned a ball with a sharp attack. You are awarded four gold. Was I actually awarded four gold? 62. I don't remember what I had before. Moving on. Human! I hope you're ready for... Sands! Where's the puzzle? It's right there on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kids Word Search. Note. C will note Alex Plexing mon Monster. Note something, note monsters are. Oh, I'm dumb. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Alright, fall. Oh, can I like actually do anything here? Doesn't look like it. Monster Kids Word Search. Fall, monster cigars, winter skeletons, sig, spring mermaid. G.S. The G.S. Fulcalabra. That's the first line. Summer Robot and Hot. I don't think Summer Robot is in here. I think that's I think that's bullshit. S.U. Summer. I don't see any Summer Robot. Summer Robot's not in there. Right? So there. Summer robot. Oh, it's Summer Robot. Okay, I did it. Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that's an easy-peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Jumble because I like Sands more. Am I dumb? I keep asking myself that question today. I swear that he just said the cr you should have used the crossword. Oh no, Sands said use the crossword. And he's like, no, the Jumble's harder. Oh well, humans must be very intelligent. If they also find Junior Jumble so difficult, <laughs> I don't know what what just happened. That was a bet. Not the choice I wanted to make. Think it it worked out. It looks like it worked out. He believes me. Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. All right. <clears throat> oh yay. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. It's a note from Papyrus. Human! Please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. Nyeha, <laughs> Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table.
It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Just for the record, I know the word spaghetti. I like that. Uh, do I have anything I can warm up the spaghetti with? A stick, a toy knife. You equip the toy knife. Um, item stick. You threw the stick away, then picked it back up. Uh, I guess I don't have anything to warm stuff up with yet. Huh. Um, snowman piece. I'm just gonna go back with tough glove, I think. I think it's the better, the better thing at the moment. So I don't have to do all that again, and moving on. There's a camera hidden inside this tree. Uh, that was lucky because I accidentally clicked on the tree. Warning, dog mirage. I can't go around it. Ah, oh, two of them. Ice cap appears. Jerry came too. Uh, ice cap. Perfect. No, it's hat residue. Shh, I'm thinking, guys. It's a lot of shots. Jerry lets out a yawn. Mercy, spare. So, like, what are you even doing? Jerry tells everyone it has to go to the bathroom. Um... Act Jerry. We're gonna ditch him. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when he looks away. <laughs> Ditched him when he went to the bathroom. That was nice. What's going on here? X marks the spot, yeah? Is this a map? I feel like the longer I'm doing this, the more likely I'm going to get hurt by something. Let's go, let's go. All right, so we have a obvious map of something. Some ruins, maybe. Oh, ruins. Ruins is the name of the place I couldn't think of earlier. Where, um, that lady monster lived. Tauriel. Um, oh, okay, I see. So this is, I'm like here, right now. So I need to go up right. There's a special spot that'll probably open this. Up and right and to the tree? No, to here. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Nice, dude. Jerry. Oh, ice cap, I mean. I just lose my hat, okay? <clears throat> Jerry sneezes without covering his nose. Well, can you give me a... Uh... I think he was about to say napkin or handkerchief. Jerry eats powdery food and licks his hands loudly. Jerry, dude, you're gross. Uh, can we ditch him yet? You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. You won. All right, cool. Yeah, we got that. Oh, snap. These dogs got big axes. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If, you, if you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Oh. 
I was hoping uh, I wouldn't have to move. Doggy assaulted you, Doji. Oh, he peed on me. The dogs sniff you again, but you smell just as weird as before. I gotta stop smelling weird. So I'm gonna have to roll around on the ground. The blue ones are good. We don't mind the blue ones, right? Um, ah, the dogs are saying sickly sweet things to each other. Roll, you roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Number two, Nuzzle Champs, 98. Of course, we were second. <laughs> the dogs may want to re-smell you. Yeah. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What smells like, uh... Are you actually a little puppy? Oh, it's not over. That was hard. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Take my wife. I don't know what to do here. Nailed it. They still think I'm a lost puppy. The dogs already know you smell fine. What smells like uh are you actually oh boy. What? I thought the blue ones were okay. Maybe they're just not as bad. Pet? You pet dogging me. Wow, pet by another pup? Well, don't leave me out. Okay, okay, I got it. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Now I need to pet her. You pet the dog Aressa. What about me? A dog that pets dogs. Amazing. The dogs' minds have been expanded. Yay! 40 gold. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Snap. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. I didn't mean to... Press it that time. What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? I left it. Really? Wowie. You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> I would have eaten it if it were not frozen to the table, just to be clear. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Nah <laughs> Hmm. Uh-oh, we got more X's and O's. Human, hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different, and, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Oh, okay, I got this. Some of these aren't too difficult, like those. And... Yeah, that's gonna be the hard one, right? Oh, 
so if you hit it twice, you screw it up. It's like over. Yeah. All right. Um, so I could probably do like this guy. And then I could maybe do something like this. Go all the way back around and hit up the last one. Nice. Whoa, you solved it, and you did it all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle, then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. I like doing these puzzles. These are fun. Oh, this is a puzzle. Hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles. Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Great, then here's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Nah, hey, 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 get ready. Um. <clears throat> wow. I have a seizure before the puzzle starts. <laughs> Look at him dance. <laughs> I honestly think I could have nailed that. The machine isn't working. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year, he'll even make something edible. <laughs> Look at this dog. Triple dog dare ya to stick your tongue to the light pole. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. On the floor inside is a box of pom pomeraisins. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Hmm. Where are we at? How much time we've we been going? Yeah, we'll keep going a little bit more. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Oh, does it have more dialogue? No. Okay. Let's see here. I feel like this... Okay, I have to do the, that one last. Oh, I see. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. It's a snow papyrus. Um, I don't feel very good about this. In the slightest. Let's do this one. What? 
Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> I was thinking the non super icy looking ones weren't that bad, but I was wrong. Now here's the real question. Yeah, this way, this way, this way. This way, and button. Nailed it! Do you think there's something in there? Why was there an up? It said go up? What does that mean? <laughs> I just get a new hat every time I do it. We'll do it a couple more times. See what good stuff we get. I think it was a house last time. No, it's just a silly hat this time. <clears throat> yeah, that's fun. Uh, Rider down. Looks like a whole puzzle. Let's check down first. Ah, Sands. What's up? Sands, there's some creepos up there. Say, are you following me? Good lord. Gift Trot confronts you. Uh, decorate. Gift Trot. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Don't put any more on me. All right, Gift Trot, no problem. Shoot, felt like I had that. Undecorate. You remove a childhood photograph of Snow Drake and his parent. That's a little better. All right, so we just got to get through the... We just got to get through this. Slightly less irritated. Undecorate. That's a little better. Oh, God. Not good at this. Oh, I'm almost dead. I'm gonna try it without... Ooh, I might die. Better, I better heal. Not the nice cream. Why does it say page one? Can I go to a different page? I don't seem to be able to. Uh, snow piece I'll keep. Nice cream. Oh, ho, ho, go ahead and laugh. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here. All right. Uh, undecorate. You remove the lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking. A weight has been lifted. Gift Trot's problems have been taken away. Nice. You won! You earned zero experience in 20 twin twin gold. I'm in a magical, beautiful place. I think that's the sound of the mice. It's a door! Still a door. Which one do you think I... What do you think I do here, huh? Hmm. Do you think that there is a way to do this? Let's try... Nothing here... Shoot, man, I feel like there's gotta be something here to... to... to do this, but I don't know what it is. Also, I have no idea what I'm doing. Could be... there's so many combinations, like four is a lot. Uh, we could do... 
One, two, three, four. I don't know if I have to try it every time. Okay, I'm giving up. I'll try one more. One more one more attempt at something that may or may not be actually happening. Squeak squeak. Yep. That is a door, that's true. Alright, let's get out of here. I gotta remember this place though. Oh, there's a house down there. Way up here. Say, are you following me? I'm not, but I'm trying to figure out what's up with this creepy place. And I don't know that you're like you. You sure do like exercise. Uh, it's a snow puff. Woof. Wait, a tiny doghouse? And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh, there's 30 gold inside this. What is it? It's a snow puff. <laughs> oh, this one's a dog. A cute dog. But a cute bar. It's going to turn into a monster. Nailed it. <laughs> it's the greater dog. Um, I'm going to check him. Greater dog. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Okay, so I'm going to fight it. I got lucky there. Darn. Oh, shit. Okay. Please don't kill me this time. Alright. Hopefully he keeps up with the same attack. That was a good one. Nailed it. Panting slowly. I don't want to go too far here. I think I'm going to kill it if I, if I attack it again. Pet? Too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Shit. Oh, I got lucky. Panting slowly. I don't know what that means. Beckon. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. It's getting faster. No, it's not. I'm so close to being dead. Ignore. Greater dog inches closer. He's panting slowly still. Ignore. There we go. Inches closer. I got you, dog. Come on. <laughs> Greater dog inches closer. Okay, good, good. I can get this one. Nor greater dog decides you are too boring. You won! 54 gold, that's a lot. Oh, man. That was a rough one. This is creepy. Man, it's a long suspension bridge. You would think it might drain, like, sag in the middle, you know? Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror! <laughs> Holy shit, look at that dog over there. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, 
What's the hold up? Hold up, what hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. That um doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Hey. Huh? Oh, Papyrus. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. Oh, welcome to Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Save at Snowden Town. Well, all that is going to do it for today's episode of the Undertale Full Blind Playthrough. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we're going to see what's going on up in Snowden Town next time. What do I think about this? The music is fantastic. Um, everybody should just play this music all the time because it's really good and fun to listen to. Um... I am thoroughly enjoying the fact that I can go through this whole game without fighting people. Um, I've probably talked about it too much just in the first two episodes, but um, I thought it was just a random little like silly thing I was doing at first, and it ended up being like the full way to play the game, so I'm really enjoying that. Um, okay, well, that's all I got. Uh, thank you all. I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye.